John, Kit Fox has been a great airplane for a long time, always had good capabilities, but you've put a new wing on this airplane that'll practically make it take off out of somebody's backyard. Let us know about it. Well, we did. We, we've actually, as you know, the Series 7 has been around for quite some time. It has great stall capabilities and along with a comparable speed, and it's just been a very good performer, but we've had continuing people ask us to do something that takes off out of their backyard, long driveway, something along those lines. So we took a look at it. About five years ago, we developed the wing. We never put it into play, and then we decided to go ahead and do some testing with it. Found out that we're able to accomplish that mission. It is more of a stole specific mission. Cruise speeds of 98 miles an hour true, and yet we can take off in less than half the distance of our current model, and land in about half the distance of our current model, actually less than half the distance. So the goal was 100 feet takeoff, 100 feet landing on 100 horsepower, and it is a stock Rotax, 100 horse 912 ULS, no magic, no bore kit, no turbocharger, just stock engine. You said stole specific missions. What kind of missions are those? And we have customers that want to take out of their uh, out of a small farm field, out of their backyard, long driveway, something along those lines. And there's also other places that you want to play. I've been on riverbeds, sandbars, beaches, and things like that in the current Series 7 Supersport airplane. This one just makes that a little bit easier, but you're going to get there a little slower. Lost about 20 to 25 in cruise. The wing is retrofittable into the Fleet. So a person could literally change wings in a weekend. Has it affected the useful load or any of the other characteristics of the airplane? It has not. The weight of the airplane has stayed very comparable to what our current weights have always been. The STI wing is what we're referring to it, or the STI package with the gear as well. That wing is about four pounds heavier than our current wing, so it didn't really affect the useful load or the empty weight of the airplane. I think something that a lot of folks are going to want to know, specifically somebody who might want to retrofit the wing onto their existing airplane, what does it cost? Well, if they're retrofitting, the wing kit is $98.50, and that includes new lift struts, flaperons, the lift strut fairings, the vortex generators, pretty much the wing as you see it sitting here. If they're buying the firewall back kit here at the show, it's $34,995 firewall back. That's including the wing, the gear as you see it, with $4,000 worth of Alaska Bush Wheel Air Streak tires. Great, John. Well, thanks for taking some time to talk with us on Aero TV. No worries. Thanks for your time. Aero TV is brought to you by. NavWorks makes ADS-B affordable. Certified or experimental, NavWorks gives you high-quality next-gen avionic solutions that dramatically increase your situational awareness. Check us out now on the web at www.navworks.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero.